I'm here at the Griffith Observatory. Today I'm going to bring to you some uh, interesting information and knowledge on astrology. It's not the typical stuff that they always teach on what astrology is or it's the mainstream view of what astrology is. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to someone. His name's David Palmer and his view and his understanding of astrology is I guess you could say comparative to Nostradamus. And if it's not there yet, which, you know, he's still younger, so he's probably got years to develop everything completely to its T, but it's there. It's really fine-tuned, and he's got a comprehensive, great understanding of what astrology is and how to use it in the everyday world. Let me get to it, let me get to him, and enjoy it. Hey there, I'm David Palmer, and I'm an astrologer, and I'm giving you an introduction into astrology. You know, astrology started for me when I was really young. My mom told me I was a Leo, and that just called out to me, like, big time. You know, I've always been a very, very personable, very lovable kind of guy. When I read all the stuff about Leo when I was a kid, I just called my name. Uh, within the last four years, I really got into natal chart astrology, Western astrology. I looked at my natal chart, uh, spoke with some great astrologers, and it just opened up a whole world that I never would have dreamed of before. Some history into astrology goes all the way back to Babylonian times. Just as simple as people were carving out little planetary movements on bones even back then. And it really progressed forward right at about Christ time. Uh, where astrology really started to be the norm. Uh, everybody would look at astrology as this everyday life. And around the 13th, 14th century in the Renaissance period, the Black Plague, even during those times, astrology got very big and really progressed forward. When Copernicus found that the sun was at the center of the universe, all the astrologers went one way and the astronomers went another way. Astrologers from that point really progressed forward with astrology and astronomers really progressed forward in how we plot the stars and how we look at the planets in a more scientific form, lacking the spiritual end and lacking the core of really what astrology was all about. Remember, before Copernicus found that the sun was at the center of the universe, astrology and astronomy was actually one. Why do you think astrology is important on the everyday aspect of things? I think astrology is important on the everyday aspect of things is because astrology is all about cycles, um, synchronicities, really showing you your unique personality trait and also the core of who you are as an individual. For me as an astrologer, how it's changed my life, I've been following the planets for the last three and a half years every day, every single movement and following it and how it relates to me and my personal astrology and all my dreams have come true. I have had everything I've ever wanted in my life happen from it. So David, let me ask you, we're at Hollywood, or at least I can see Hollywood's right behind you. Do you think there's any significance to the fact that celebrities or people that we really look up to nowadays, we call them stars, do you think that has any significance with looking up, looking up at the stars and how our ancestors used to worship what was going on up there? There's such a great correlation between celebrities and stars. It's interesting that we call all celebrities a star. In astrology, the sun is a star, and the sun is the center of pretty much everything where light comes from. Leo is what the sun represents in astrology. And it's ironic because Los Angeles is Leo. If you look at the establishment date, it is a Leo. So the city is all about shining bright, about being a star. Celebrities are shining bright and inspiring us all to be like something. And that's what the sun is in astrology, is inspiration. And all Leos are warm, friendly, outgoing, just like any celebrity is categorized at. So in essence, every star out there is really a celebrity because we are inspired. We want to be like the, the star. All the planets revolve around the sun, just like all the people revolve all around every single celebrity. So what is astrology? Well, what is astrology? Astrology is so much information, it would take me thousands of videos to explain it to you. But at the core, the planets and their influence on us here on Earth is what astrology is about. Can you in layman terms just explain to me and other viewers what Mercury retrograde is? 
Well, what Mercury retrograde is, is let's just look at what Mercury is first. Mercury is a planet, it's the closest to the sun, and it represents communication, it represents the mind, it represents everything mental, uh, messaging, and especially communication. There's actually a lot of other things that Mercury represents, but at the core it really is the mind, the mouth, and how they're connected. And when a planet goes retrograde, it goes backwards in our view here on Earth. So what retrograding does is it makes us rethink or go inward instead of outward. So with our mind, instead of being pushed forward, we are really going inward with our mind and all of our communication doesn't go to a full stop, but it really reflects on a new way of we really look at it before we say it out. So we usually stutter, computers fall apart, or your cell phone won't send. Um, it, a lot of people think it's doom and gloom with uh, computers and so forth. I don't think so, or contracts, let's say, because that's written or you know communication in itself. Really, anytime a planet goes retrograde, especially Mercury, just stop and think before you do it and examine the inward before you do the outward. I also want to add that the Sun and Mercury always are with each other if you look at an astrological chart. And Mercury goes ahead of the Sun and then it retrogrades backward. And if you look at what that really means in astrology is the Sun represents our consciousness and Mercury represents our mind and how we think. And there's times in humanity where all of humanity is rushing forward with thoughts, but it can't go too far or our consciousness can't keep up with those thoughts. So the universe brings it backward to come together in a conjunction to where our mind and our souls basically align so we can connect with that. And then it retrogrades back and our consciousness moves forward and then our mind has to catch up with our consciousness. In essence, that's how it works. Since it's taken me like three takes to ask you a question, I know we're in Mercury retrograde. But I want to ask you, what's the correlation between consciousness and astrology? The correlation between consciousness and astrology is really that synchronicity, that aha moment of what consciousness is. And with astrology, we use the planets and we use the chart and we use these synchronicities or these epiphanies, these coincidences that prove to us how it works. And when you have that big aha moment and it all makes sense, or you have the synchronicity through the planets, it's just the same as when you think about your buddy and he actually calls you and that happens. It's the same thing with astrology. I know there's a really big misconception about astrology and what it's really used for and what it really is about. Can you clarify that for us? Well, there are a lot of misconceptions about astrology and I just want to tell you that astrology is a spiritual practice. It comes from a very positive place. It's not some, you know, devil worshipping science, let's say. Um, and it's not so crazy where um, it's not scientific, like the scientists would say. It actually takes both in consideration the love of the universe and the love of all this beautiful energy that's out there and also takes in consideration the science of all the planets, the rotations of them, the ecliptic, eclipses, all these amazing scientific and I guess you could say religious beliefs all into one. It's like the perfect home for everything in one, one place. I mean, this whole world is revolved around planets. It's revolved around us following the sun and all the planets following the sun. And it's actually more important. It's the same cycle that goes into every cycle in the universe. It's just nothing but cycles and cycles and cycles. And astrology is just the practice of that cycle that happens in everything, whether it's death or it's I can use it in a million examples, but cycles are really what astrology is. So the misconception that it just is, you know, all about just, oh, I'm going to find your lover or I'm just going to find, you know, your friend or you're going to be rich because of it. It's so much deeper than that. It's all about the study of that cycle and how to understand the cycle and go into your life in a better way with the knowledge and the know-how and the complete overall look of how the whole system of the universe works. So you mentioned cycles. What's the correlation between cycles and astrology? Well, the correlation between cycles and astrology is the core of what astrology is. Um, the planets go through a cycle. Life and death goes through its cycles. The best way to describe it is there's this old, these old French drawings of astrology where they used each sign and they started it as a seed, 
um, then turning into growing into a plant and then harvesting that plant and then cutting it out and then turning into food and then eating it and then actually at the very end going to the bathroom and letting loose of it. But that's the cycle of how life works. Um, the death and rebirth, living and then dying, but then, you know, life coming back. And that's what astrology is, is we follow the cycles and it's all based off cycles. The um, tropical chart astrology, which I practice, Western astrology, is based off the seasons. So we start in the spring, in Aries, and we end right there at the very end, right when the sun is, is at its least. I mean, the cycles of the seasons represent what astrology is. And in essence, when you look at your life and the cycles you go through and the patterns that really exert everything in our lives, it turns a light switch on and you can follow your life and follow the own cycles that you go through in your life. And they're usually pinpoint and targeted in a certain area that you go through. And that's what I do as an astrologer is I point those out and show you how the cycles work. So David, in closing, what is it that you want to bring to the forefront with astrology and what do you want to leave us with? Well, I have a lot of exciting new things I'm bringing to astrology, as well as bringing all the old astrology into this new world. First off, I've got Star Hearts. It's a great new product line of all new astrology readings brought to you by the great Michael Erlewine, the guy who created software for astrology and bringing what's called heliocentric astrology to the mainstream, which is using not only just geo-based astrology like traditional astrology with the earth at the center, but using heliocientific astronomy charts and showing the really inward dharma of our souls, the inner soul of who we are in that astrology chart. I'm also bringing what's called inclusive astrology, which I'm replacing mundane astrology because that term mundane is horrible. And inclusive astrology is using a world horoscope with all the planets today using a geocentric chart. Uh, I also have what's called target astrology, which is a pinpoint accurate reading in a specific part of your life. So you come to me with either a business, personal, or love question, and I actually pinpoint and target that and show you where you can succeed and grow. Um, I'm also, you know, bringing gossip astrology as always. I love to gossip. I do my radio show, Beauty and the Grumble, with my love, Erica Othin, and I talk about everything happening on the planet, all the gossip, celebrity stories, world stories, and how it all correlates astrologically. So a lot of stuff under my belt here. Um, and you can get a hold of me at david-palmer.com or starhearts.com. And make sure that you follow us because we're gonna bring you new astrology videos every week. And if you have questions or if there's anything out there in the world that has anything new and significant, believe us, we're gonna bring you all the new astrology straight to you.